And now, on 1170 SEN Breakfast, Vossie's Verdict. My verdict this morning, well, I will put it simply, enough is enough. The Rugby League judiciary process needs an overhaul this coming off-season. It's just about, it has to be the first order of business. Sam Verrills last night, the Roosters hooker, getting a two-game ban for what was deemed a grade two careless high tackle is a joke, in my opinion. It was basically argued that Verrills had failed in a duty of care as the defender. Please watch the tackle again in normal speed. What did he do wrong? Then look at the junior Paulo tackle for Parramatta that incurred just a grade one charge from Sunday's game against the Knights. And you can throw the match review committee into the end of season overhaul as well. But wait, there's more. If what Sam Verrills did really is a two-game ban offence, why would the referee not sin bin him during the game or the, the bunker believe he should be binned? The, st- the, the system is stuffed. It's absolutely stuffed, in my opinion, across all levels. You know my long-held stance against loading and carryover points. That part of the system has zero support from me. Keep it simple. If a tackle warrants a one-game ban, that's what it should get. If it doesn't, it doesn't get it. Nothing. If it's a two-game ban, it's a two-game ban. If it goes before the judiciary and the challenge is unsuccessful, it is still a one-game ban. Why do we have a system in a sport? Why does it have to mirror the courts and judicial process in society? These are not crimes. These are indiscretions on a football field. In the court of law, one of the motivations for an early plea system is to reduce stress on victims. Well, how does that apply to rugby league or sport? Another primary motivation for early plea discounts in society is swifter justice for the community. Reduce time and money wasted on the resources of police, the courts and lawyers. In the courts, that thinking is driven by the fact that cases can go days, weeks, even months. That doesn't apply to rugby league. The logic should not apply week by week in a sport like rugby league where cases can all be heard on video link, the evidence of the incident in question is caught on film and multiple angles, and the cases never go more than a few hours tops. Discounts for early pleas. Give me a break. I mean, Kane Evans the previous week, Josh Maguire, they took the early pleas because they were blatantly guilty. There should be no reward for that. Making the penalty harsher if you challenge a charge and fail, well, that is just not right in sport, and it's not a premise that should be enforced in sport or indeed rugby league in this case. I only hope we can get through the next few weeks without any more judiciary or match review committee controversy, then come post-grand final, blow the whole damn system up.